I wanted to share a recent use case with custom fields that I thought might be valuable for some other people. So the idea here is almost to use a custom field as a secondary stage. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean for agents, but an example I did recently was with a lender. Uh, so a lender and follow-up boss is using the system and the lender can't change the stages because the agent is using the stages as far as their their follow-up or triggering action plans. You know, if, if they're a hot prospect um, to the agent, that doesn't necessarily mean they're hot to a lender if they haven't connected with them yet or they haven't started application. So this particular idea with the lender was that we did a custom field and we called it lender status and then made it a drop down. So this way the lender had options like, you know, application made. And obviously this may vary uh, on your model and what your lender wants to, to do, um, you know, needs, do like a needs credit repair, um, you know, approved, something to that effect. So you've got kind of some different stages for lack of a better term here, but they're not conflicting with your follow-up boss stages. Other uses for this could be something like recruiting. So if you wanted to, you know, again, maybe not use your same stages or if your stages are designed more for consumers and for recruiting, you want to say have um, similar type of things like, you know, really interested, never spoken to, things like that, where you want to be able to potentially categorize people in a different way. Um, you know, that, that makes tons of sense. And you guys probably know, but you can also reorder these quite easily. So I'm going to move this to the top. May not be the right thing um, for your case, but just for ease of conversation, I'm moving these to the top. Because what I want to demonstrate now is that if you come in here, ultimately you can add these custom fields as columns. And so this now allows you to either make separate smart lists or things like that. Let me, there's no data in here yet. So let me, let me do this. Let me just pick, uh, we'll pick on Dan today. If I come down to Dan and say, okay, well, his lender status, let's give it a second to update. I don't know why it's not showing it. Maybe I accidentally left the box on. There we go. So if we say his lender status, I won't do that to you, Dan. I'll say you're approved. Um, so uh, he's approved here. So now we come back in here. Now we can actually make a smart list and say, hey, show me everybody that has this custom field approved. And then we can hit save list and save this as a smart list. So again, whether it's for a lender or recruiting or anything else where you need a stage like setup that isn't actually editing or adding a bunch of stages to your account that may be specific to a certain user um, or to you maybe as the owner or doing some recruiting. This is a great way to do that very simply uh, with this drop down format of custom field. Um, it allows you to create kind of a whole other world of smart lists to check um, particular things that you may, may want to check. Um, or ways to categorize people. So again, pretty simple. You would go to admin, custom fields. I would recommend the drop down style. Oh, is the hide if empty was is checked. I'm not a fan of that box. Uncheck that box. Um, create whatever drop downs you want. This eliminates spelling errors. That eliminates other things. Um, just to kind of keep it simple. It also makes it really easy to edit. So if I was going to hop in here um, and just say like, all right, well. You know, this person is application made and then you talk to them a little bit later and it's like, okay, great. Well, now they are approved. So let me move them here. Um, again, just allows for an easier, more quick workflow than either trying to remember what to type or anything to that effect. So create the custom field under admin custom field. Again, to add it here, you would just go to columns, custom fields and make sure the custom field you want to see is checked. You can move it around. You can even change the uh, the width of the column and then click on the name of it to be able to sort um, or filter by what you've done. So pretty simple system, but I think it's got a lot of powerful uses. If you think of a cool use that I didn't mention, I would love to hear your feedback.